Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel, or if you're tuning into the podcast, welcome back to Bahati Life podcast. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. It feels so good to be able to have you here with me now, presently, in this moment, if you're watching real time or from the future. So we are going to be talking about this week ahead, and it's interesting because there are a lot of messages that are coming through that not only are coming through for me, but some that will be very telling in your own life, in your own personal life, and I want you guys to really be open to this. I really want you to be open to these messages. These messages are not from what I can tell and from how Spirit is speaking. I don't think or believe that they are coming exclusively from people. I do feel you guys are going to be coming in contact with your ancestors, um, with your angels, with your guides. I'm hearing the word lapse, so there might have been a brief period. It's I say brief, but it feels like long period. But timing when we're working with the spiritual realms is irrelevant or timing is different to them than it is to us. What can feel like years or a lifetime in the eyes of spirit or in the eyes of the divine, it will happen in a blink of an eye. So um, what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling is that this week, August 3rd is the time that it is I'm filming this. August 3rd, the week around this, and also spilling over into next week, I would not be surprised if you heard some really interesting, profound messages from the divine, from your ancestors, and also from people. There is this really strong, intuitive hunch that it is that I'm getting that um, what you are manifesting or what is manifesting this week are things that have been put into works, desires of your heart, empty empty wishes or unfulfilled visions unfulfilled wishes things that you were that were called into your state of being that were called into your spirit that you haven't seen come to fruition yet and sometimes a lot of times it's not that you have done anything wrong or that you're in the wrong place at the wrong time it's more about divine timing and divine alignment and that's where astrology comes forward and that's where astrology is so important because astrologers will look at the chart and will see that, okay, this is when we have an opportunity for something to effortlessly flow in, or this is when we have an opportunity for something to create a challenge, create a shift, and then this occurs because, you know, finally the planets have aligned. So we have to, as human beings and as spiritual beings, we have to humble ourselves and be really respectful of divine timing and divine order and divine chaos over our lives and within our lives. I just really strongly feel, and I'm being called to share with you guys, that this is one of those weeks where despite this long period of this absence, this absence is the word that's coming through, meaning that it feels like it's empty, it feels like it's incomplete, it feels like there's a void, it feels like you've been alone, isolated, pulled away from who, what. This could be God, this could be a relationship, this could be a, your higher self, this could be your ancestors. You've been putting in the work, you've been putting in the energy, the effort, exerting the energy and the effort, and it feels it, it feels um, incomplete is the word that's coming through. It feels like the picture isn't full or the message isn't being sent or delivered, you know what I mean? And this is one of those weeks where I truly am seeing and feeling that the planets are aligning to create the just enough shift and just enough of an adjustment in order for that message to finally be received, in order for that message to finally come through in a way that you're able to hear it. And all it takes, just like timing is just a blip in the moment, you know, on the radar, all it takes is one word to give you such tremendous clarity in your life, in your direction, in your purpose, and manifesting. The other thing that I'm hearing, my loves, is spirit is so clearly telling me intuitively now that 
God, the divine, ancestors, these deities, whoever it is that you're talking to, whoever it is that you're communicating with or have communicated with or built a relationship with on the spiritual realm, right? You are not separate from them. You have never been separate from them. Um, just the fact that you are so in strongly, passionately called to a higher presence shows and reflects and mirrors back into this powerful presence that is also within you. If you weren't so magnetized to it, if you weren't so attracted to it, there wouldn't be a connection. Do you know what I mean? If there, Just the fact that you were attracted to it, just the fact that you were magnetized to it, it reflects something that is within you. This is not just what we are attracted to in our day-to-day -day life, meaning like the careers that we choose, the people and relationships that we are drawn to, the foods that is that we're eating, how we dress, how we hold ourselves. There's something that we see in the external that reflects to us something that we recognize in the internal. Do you know what I mean? So when we are moving through our through the world and learning as human beings, we're so clumsy. We're learning how to better communicate our ourselves, to um, to articulate ourselves, to articulate our hopes and our wishes and, and stepping even further into our power and stepping even further into our ability to, to magnetize, to attract and also to give, to receive, you know, to provide. Um, we are not expected to have it all figured out, to have it all sorted out. We have to have these ups and these downs where we feel very connected and very drawn to, um, in this case, I'm. it's like the spiritual realms, like who we are drawn to. Um, these certain deities or this relationship with God or our ancestors or whoever. Spirit is telling me to talk about this now because you are not separate from them. And I heard this a few times in my Sacred Circle Tarot School where someone said, per so perfectly, she, she said that she felt so pulled away from the higher her higher self or from the divine. But the truth is, is that we can never be disconnected from the higher self. We can never be con disconnected from the divine or from our ancestors, never. If anything, we're disconnected from ourselves because we get so, as human beings being clumsy, we get caught in the web of the human mind, human logic, paranoia, insecurities, fears, doubts, whatever the case is, and that's okay. That happens to every single one of us, but we are not disconnected from the higher power. We are not disconnected from the higher self. And when we feel like we are, it is because we have fallen too far into the logical thinking, the logical processing human, and and we need to pull away, recenter ourselves, and trust fall back into the spiritual realms. So it's not that God or our ancestors or our spirit, spiritual guides have abandoned us or rejected us or pushed us out. It's the fact that we have we're relying too much on our own intuitive devices you know what i mean on our own intuitive thinking and processing and stuff having said that my candle is like sizzling right now because spirit is is really like a you know listener she's saying she's speaking the truth right so and for those of you guys that are wondering i'm working with the bird of paradise um fixed candle which i'm has given me so many beautiful blessings lately. If you're following me on Instagram on Bahati Life or on my personal Instagram, Jessica Alex Alexandria, you've been seeing that I've been truly manifesting my dream life. I mean, I've manifested my dream work. I manifested my dream life and I'm going to be manifesting a, a lot more moving from there, but it has been the bird of paradise and also the nectar of life candle, the fixed candle that has been really giving me tremendous blessings as of late. But back to my message. So why why I feel like this is coming through and why I'm being called to share this with you guys today, what I believe is because spirit is wanting you to know that 
you do not need or they do not want you to wait for a sign from God as my candle is, continues to sizzle. You do not need or they do not want you to wait for a sign from God. They do not want you to wait for your ancestors to come to you, to approach you. They do not want you to wait for an angel. They do not want you, right, to wait, um, to stay idle, to stay complacent. It is going to further feel this feeling of powerlessness when spirit, the divine, the higher self says that this week as Mercury is doing the very most this this week um they want you to call out to speak to them i wrote this so clearly as the vision for 2021 in my um, complete ebook guide the the breakdown every single week was broken down and this week it was clearly called out that you need to call out why because you have to understand the power that is within you. There is a reason why you are called to such a powerful deity. There's a reason why you are called and attracted to such a powerful God. There's a reason why you are called to such a powerful ancestor, or there's a reason why you're called to this powerful experience, because the divine within you recognizes that that is your mirror, that is your reflection, and it would only enable this feeling, this sense of powerlessness that you might be experiencing right now that says I have to wait for someone or something to approach me to give me my hopes, my wish, my desires when in fact using the power of Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication and information. He's the messenger of the gods. So not only is he carrying the message, messages of, of God or of the gods, he invokes it within you. Clarity, right? He processes it. He translates it. He understands it and then he speaks it out. So this is something that you need to tap into. Yes, there's other astrologers. <clears throat> yes, there's other astrologers or intuitives saying, you know, pulling these charts, saying that, okay, Mercury is being challenged this week and, you know, to be very mindful of arguments and, you know, disordered thinking or conflict or, you know, you might hear from an ex or you might, yes, all of those things are, are possible, but this is a higher message this is a higher vibration this is a higher intuitive message that spirit needs you to receive that it's more than just these superficial experiences it goes far deeper than that especially in the time that we are at in history we are we are really de redefining history we are totally like decoding and de like um, the, the system has been completely destabilized. And if that's the case, then there's this new world, there's this new order, there's this new life, there's this new system that has stepped into, into space and, it, and into our place. And it also comes from the people. It comes from our, our, us stepping into our power and us redefining our priorities. This is something that I've been speaking of for over five years, talking about the time that we're in right now. And the reason why it's five years is because the planets move very slowly. It's not like, oh, 365 days, new year, new me. That's very superficial and it's also fake. That's um, propaganda. It's social media tactics. It's not real. These planets do not just come in in 365 days and then breathe a fresh breath of fresh air, you know, on human timetables. We're working with the planets, we're working with divine timing and divine order. That's not something that just goes within our human human logic. It defies human logic. So it, it's ten, five years I've been a broken record on this channel and I will continue to you know, state the same messages that Spirit is reiterating because it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed just because it's a new year, just because it's a new month, or just because whatever. No, the, the planets are still making the same permanent lasting imprints and impact that we are going to feel and you have to be humble in that you have to embrace that you don't want to fight against it this week though spirit is saying we do not want you to feel powerless we want you to understand your power your power is going to come from your ability to invoke and to call out the blessings that you feel an absence with, that you feel a void with, that you feel you haven't experienced. There have been promises and prophecies and visions that were spoken of your life since you were a tiny girl or boy, since you were a tiny baby. 
And some of those things you're starting to question now, 28 years old, 27 years old, especially if you're going through your Saturn return, or especially if you're entering, exiting out of a cycle and entering into a new cycle, especially when it comes to divorce, especially when it comes to m maturing. There are certain visions and certain prophecies that have not materialized yet. And you may feel that you are lacking in faith or you may feel that you have been beaten up because of your own experiences from your own human experiences that have made you feel defeated, frustrated, abandoned, isolated, giving up hope. And you can't. You can't. The other thing that I'm hearing that Spirit is telling me so strongly to tell to you guys is to stop distracting yourself. You cannot, you can, but don't. Choose not to distract yourself with disordered thinking, with chaotic people, with people who are lower vibration. This does not mean that you have to be serious all the time. This does not mean that you have to be, um, you know, whatever the expectation is that you see for yourself, that you know within your spirit, every day you show up to this desk job, every time you show up to this relationship, every time you show up to this hobby, to this activity, you know that it's logically the right thing to do, but spiritually you know it's wrong for you. You know it's not the answer for you. You know that it's not right. It is time for you to, this week, minimum, it is time for you to redefine and to change the story. And Spirit is telling me to tell you that we are giving you the power. If you feel this within your spirit, if you feel this, feel this message within your gut, you know that it is for you. You don't have to question it anymore. You don't have to second guess or look for on YouTube or ask other people or go to your tarot deck to ask for continuing forms of confirmation. If you feel it now, it is so. So if it is so, write it, speak it, be it, do it. A part of this is understanding that there are two levels of, of your experience here. There's the masculine and there's the feminine. It doesn't matter how you identify. It doesn't matter how it appears. It's energy, right? So you have to pull away and ground yourself and center yourself in every single one of your experiences, especially moving forward into our future, okay? So this means that you have to understand that masculine energy looks a certain way, feminine energy looks a certain way, and you have to be the embodiment and become comfortable with the active of doing and the active receiving, okay? And partnership and union is something that's really coming through. And it's so interesting to me, too, because the lover's card is at the very base of this reading. Right? I'll say this. So the lover's card is ruled by the energy of Gemini. Gemini is ruled by the planet Mercury. And Mercury, again, is the planet of communication. He's the messenger of the gods. Gemini takes the information. He takes the visions, the prophecies that the angels, especially uh, Archangel Gabriel, have called into your life and says it is your power and it is your duty to make a choice and decision based upon what you've heard within your spirit within your soul that is true union having made that choice and that decision you're going to continue to make choices and decisions that reflect that should reflect this higher purpose this higher decision this higher calling for your life this is going to come in your relationships your business your purpose your health your finances, your abundance, the way that what you are attracting, your magic, I have my candle here, how you do your magic, what you're calling into your life should reflect the choice, the decision that spirit spoke over, over you or into you years ago or in this moment now. Yeah, there's going to be one major choice, but from that major choice, it's going to spider into all these smaller, and I put it in air quotes, all these smaller choices and decisions that are going to or should be should support this greater vision that you see and want for yourself, for your life. If you have something show up into your life, a message, a vision, an invitation, or whatever the case is, you have to then pull into, and then we also, also have the strength card here. You have to have the power to pull into your state of being to ask yourself, is this a vibrational match for me? And does this feel like it's a good fit? It doesn't have to logically make sense um, to, the, to the path because the way that spirit moves, it can be very illogical. A lot of times it is illogical. 
but it will be vibrational. You will know by the way that it feels. The only person that can answer that for you is you. I'm hearing the word um, courageous. You have to be very courageous. Some of you guys are gonna actively have to fight your ego every day, especially when it comes to masculine energy. Um, ma the masculine energy, the masculine form, you you guys, your, your greatest, your greatest battle is going to come from not moving from the ego so much or having the ego push back. You're, you're really going to feel very triggered as you enter into a more vulnerable state of being. Um, some of you guys, I heard the word, I'm not ready, but as I heard, I'm not ready, it's more you, it's more the, what you're actually saying is that they're not ready, it's not ready, or it's not time. That's a, a lie. That somehow <clears throat> that connects to the ego and what you're trying to prove to yourself. And what you're trying to pr prove to yourself is a fallacy. It's not real. It's an insecurity. It's a doubt. It's a fear. You would be able to see that if you took the time out to pull away and connect to those feminine and masculine aspects within yourself. By journaling them, by writing them down. That's also Mercury driven. So that's the message that I'm getting for you guys this week. I really want to see you guys um, go to your altars. I'm hearing reshape your altar, cleanse your altar, refresh your altar, invest in your altar. It doesn't have to be this massive display. It could be very simple, but go back to it. And what spirits, deities, ancestors, guides, gods are you drawn to right now? Because you need to invoke their energy into your life more. And as I said that, I just had a vision, but I'm going to shave, save that for the new moon. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, for those that ask, there are three oils that I do recommend. It is the Archangel protection oil, especially now. I mean, this is essential. With everything going on in the world, all that I've prophesied, all that I've seen, protection. Then we have the seven powers. It's interesting that I was even talking about invoking because the seven powers too, some of you guys might really resonate with that. If you know, you know. Um, and also goddess vibration oil. You guys might not be able to see it clearly um, because I'm not using my best camera, but I just didn't want to, <laughs> to be honest with you. And the bird of paradise is one of my candles that I've been working with me personally. I've been working a lot with my own goddess energy, my ability to play, be creative, and just really enjoy this life and all of the fruit, the juiciness of it. And that's been my entire experience lately. It's been such a good match for me. It's been so like needed and the timing, especially after I manifested my beautiful house, <laughs> my beautiful home. I'm speaking blessings over every single one of you guys. Um, I'm going to start, it's August now officially, the time of me filming. So I'm going to be starting the 2022 guide for 2022. So my complete ebook, well, it's not going to be an ebook. It's going to be ebook and also um, published, so it'll be print for every single week, every single prediction that I have every week, and also rituals for the, each new and full moon, as well as charts. And I have some additional gifts and surprises that I will be including in this print for 2022. You're going to need it. I'm not saying that as a business or to promote sales. I'm saying 2022 is going to be a doozy. If you look at the charts, if you look at astrology, or if you're even connecting with your intuitive self, you already know it, 2022. That doesn't mean that it's gonna be bad. It just means that you shouldn't go in it alone. Um, I do keep the books very reasonably priced. Um, there will be an ebook form and also print form because this 2021 was a large success. Um, shout out to you guys and shout out to my guides for blessing me and us working together so well. The reviews for the book were absolutely phenomenal and I'm going to put my all into it, even more so. You guys know I put my heart and my soul into everything that it is that I do. So if you would love to check that out, make sure that you're subscribed to my newsletter. 
on the website and also the apothecary for all of your magical workings, everything that you would need when it comes to herbs, herb packs, candles, fixed candles, I do them myself, and also the oils, everything that you need in order to manifest, um, you know, the life of your dreams or whatever it is that you need right now. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And hit that um, subscribe to the Bahati Light podcast because there's lots of interesting podcast uh, conversations that are in store that are on the calendar as we speak. Until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.